Hi guys, it's Debbie from Resin Hut. Guys, I apologize for not getting back sooner and making a video, but it has been absolutely mental in my household between flying and doing a little other little job on the side and uh, doing a few markets and having to restock. And I've also decided, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but you have this box of items that you've done over the months and you either need to sand them or you need to top coat them or something needs to be done to them and that box gets replaced with a bigger box and then it gets replaced with a bigger box and then before you know it you're sitting with about three kgs four kgs of stuff that needs doing so I literally sorted the box out and I'm down to a small tiny little square box now and I have to get all that done by Saturday because I have another Christmas market on Saturday and Sunday. Anyway, that's my excuse, guys, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, guys, I hope you've all been keeping really well and your family are all well and healthy. Um, in today's video, um, on the market that I did yesterday, I had a lovely couple um, see some of my tea light holders, um, which sold really, really well, and my key rings have been selling really well as well. And they have got a, a very similar tile in their bathroom with this kind of vein running through it. So they absolutely love the tea light holders. But here's the catch. They wanted the hands. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. It's just sort of the hands that sort of come out like that. It's really, really intricate um, with the fingers and things like that. Now, I've done a couple of these really successfully and they've sold really well. So I'm going to give it a bash today. Now this mould takes, I've just rounded it up because I don't like odd numbers, takes uh, 266 of the liquid and 665 of the powder. Now if memory serves me correctly, because it was quite a unique design that I did that day, and I don't, if, if anything like me guys, you don't necessarily write anything down. The only time I've done that, if something has come out, unbelievably I was so impressed with it the colored mix or whatever I stuck to it and I did write it down this one however I liked it I never loved it but this couple absolutely love it because it does match their bathroom and if I can remember correctly I used two colors it's the game color which you can buy off of Amazon it comes in a pack of six um, this one is the tiny tin color and this one is the glorious gold now the gold didn't come out very well in this, so I might have to put a very thin brush and streak it through, especially with the intricacy of this mould. But we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear and wing it, shall we? Anyway, guys, as always, I've mixed, I've well not mixed it yet, but I've got my liquid, I've got my powder. Um, I do mix off camera because I do put a mask on for this when I do mix it, and then I will be back and we will pull this puppy and see how it comes out and holds thumbs. If not, I'll be doing a take two and doing another one, hoping that that one will come out better. So I will persevere with this one, guys. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So um, the one thing I did forget to tell you is um, I have put four grams of um, the retarder in here, just so it gives me a little bit of a longer time to mix. I've put 30 drops of white because they wanted, um, um, they didn't want the natural, um, which is obviously more like a creamy colour. They wanted more of a brighter white. So, let's start guys. So, all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, I'm going to obviously have to layer this because obviously these drops are not going to get to the bottom. Uh, so, that's eight drops of the tinny, um, tinny tin and let's put uh, what should we do? do we, we do half we do four four drops oh dear okay six drops it is that's come out a bit quicker than what I expected okay so I'm just literally just stirring a little bit of this into the Jasmineite, and I'll just go around and let's let the fun begin, guys. Now, what I'm going to do with this because it's such a oh, there's so many little 
small crevices and everything in this I'm going to just pour from the top just like that and then also around the sides and because I've put the retarder in I obviously have a little bit of time to play with here guys um, so you know it's been such a long time since I've worked with Jasmine yes, it's literally about since I lost my last video so it's what about six weeks five weeks Right, so we're just going to shake, rattle and roll this. What I sometimes do is I pinch the end of the fingers as well, just to make sure that that jasmineite is getting in there. And then, oh, we always get some coming up. See, when I poured it, obviously they were, they're quite distinctive lines, but with the amount of shaking and vibrating that I'm doing, they will tend, they, well, the thought is, they this should blend in a little bit more, and hopefully not too much. The, where, the place where they really wanted the lines was across the, 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 um, the palm of this mould, so... I did explain to them that obviously that'll be a little bit easier, but I'm not going to be able to get the distinctive lines down the sides for obvious reasons. So let's do a little bit more. I can see already that this gold has disappeared, so I'm going to put a few more drops. I don't know why this is coming out quite thick, this gold. And then just put a couple more. Well, not a couple, I'll put five more drops of that in and then just bring this down right shall I mix that a bit actually I'll just mix that a little bit more that gold is quite distinctive in this I'm not sure if that was the gold I used I think I actually used the um the other one but we'll see we'll see how this comes out but it's that's actually, I like that one. That one's kind of quite nice. I should have a little bit of this left over because, like I said, I did, I did go up in my um, measurements just to be on the safe side. Right. I think the first time I did this mould, I didn't vibrate it enough because some of the some of the fingers had some really bad holes in them. So this is what I'm really worrying about with this one. I'm just hoping it doesn't do it this time, but I can see some of the colour there, which is quite nice. Worst case scenario, I will take this colour and just sort of run it down and then obviously seal that colour in. I'm just hoping they realistic on this knowing what an intricate mold this is but they seem like a really lovely couple so I'm sure they will be gosh I thought I was doing too much I know this is a big jug so let me get my scraper out gosh I hope I've got enough here now it just shows you I've done all the calculations and according to this I've done what, six, six of the liquid over because it came to about uh, 260 when I divided it. Next time I'll have to, um, oh gosh, God, I really hope this is enough because this is not something, a colour that you can really just copy, especially when you've added white to it. That's, that's where the nightmare comes in. If you haven't, then obviously it's quite easy, but I think that's good enough. That's... That, yeah, that's definitely good enough. Whoosh, that's the panic over, guys. I was really panicking there. I thought, oh no, I haven't got enough. And this new calculation's never let me down before, so. Oh, right, let's get the last bit out just to bring it up. So just under the rim of this, of this mold. Right. Right. 
There you go. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. I am going to carry on banging because I'm going to need to bang for another two or three minutes just to get all these bubbles up. I've also got my um, alcohol spray, which is 99% alcohol, which after I'm finished banging, I do tend to spray the top. I never worry about the bottom so much because obviously it's the bottom. No one's really going to pay any attention to that. Um, so, guys, I'll leave it there. And this, because I put the um, retarder in, it will take, I'd say about, no, it takes about 45 minutes to set, um, as opposed to 20 minutes without it. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. And oh, I'm just hoping and praying there's enough color running through this, but we will see. All right, guys, I'll be back in 45 minutes for myself or a few seconds for you. So I'll be back. Hi guys, so I am back and it's been about 40 minutes, um, so let's unmold her hands or his hands, I you want to, whatever you want to call them and see what the verdict is. I did actually make another mold while I was waiting for this one, but I didn't add retarder into that one, oh, just as I suspected. The one thing that I didn't want to happen has happened. I'll show you in a minute, guys. Right. It happened the first time I made this mold, and it's done it again. And I should have actually watched out for it. And I'll tell you why. Right. So, just here, it, there's a, it, I don't know why, but the first time I did this mold, it happened and now it's happened again it's, it's just quite a deep sort of crevice under there and I think when I got the perfect mold came out I'd actually taken a little stick and just gone in with it to get this I might be able to rectify this and I think I did it with the other one and you could hardly notice the difference I just got a tiny little bit of jasmineite and just filled that gap but because this is such a distinct color I might not get it right, but the fact that it's underneath, I might be able to get away with it. But otherwise, guys, um, yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with this. Um, I've actually got some, I don't know if you can see it, but I've actually got some gold in there as well, which has stayed. And some really distinct lines here. So really, really happy with that otherwise. Just a little bit gutted about that. I should have taken note and remembered that that's what happened last time as well. Um, or the first time when I did it. But otherwise, all the fingers have come out perfect. Even the nails. This is why I love this mold. It's so intricate. You know, you can even see the nails on here. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and rectify this and see if I get any joy with it. I'm hoping I do. And if I do, then obviously... I will still do a second one as well, um, just to just to see if I can get, I think, more of a distinct singular line running through the actual hands. <clears throat> now, I'm going to demold this, and I'll tell you what happened with this now. Again, for some unknown reason, this has come up short, um, and I don't know why, but these both these molds have come up ever so ever so short. Um, and I still add, I, I still go up as well when when I when I do my calculations, and I've never had that before. Now all of a sudden I've come up short on both of mine. Um, this has come up quite a bit short. I was actually going to um, add some more grey to it because you wouldn't really notice it because it's right at the, um, at the bottom of the legs. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as is because it's it's still covered up nicely. So so little bonus for you let's have a look and see what's happened with this one um yeah the the the, the guy that bought this mold couldn't stop <laughs> it was quite funny he couldn't stop touching it um the bum that is um oh gosh this is a bit of a me to get out yeah he just could not stop touching the actual bum of this mold and he just he had to have it he said i just i have to have the mold um much to the, to the disgust of his mom <laughs> standing next to him um but yeah she did see the funny side to it um but yeah we all had a good laugh about it 
um, yeah, that's come out. I'm really happy with that. Oh, that was a little bit of a nightmare to get out there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, I'm going to have to sand that down. But yeah, I wanted the grey with a little bit of a little bit of um, a darker sort of grey running through it, and that's exactly what I've got just here. Um, yeah, and it's just a little bit on the front as well. Oh, I absolutely love this mold, guys. Um, I got this one from I think it was Etsy. Uh, not, no, it wasn't Etsy. It was like the AliExpress. Really good value for money. Um, but obviously, if you don't mind waiting, because um, um, I think I've waited about six, seven weeks for that mold. But you, you can still get them on I think Amazon and Etsy and things like that. Do sell it if you don't want to wait. But a lot more expensive. I think I only paid about six pound for this one on um, AliExpress. But yeah, what do you think? I absolutely love that. Really love that mold. Like I said, this one yeah, a little bit disappointed as I'm really, really loving the the vein effect running through this, especially sort of here on the corners. But I will see if I can fix that up and just dab that with a little bit of jasmineite. Um, I generally make it um, ever so slightly thicker. Uh, I don't do the two at two point five. I sort of do like a three to one. Um, almost make it like a thicker paste and then just put it on there. But um, yeah, very happy, very happy with it. Apart from that little mishap there, which I must say I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but I can't complain. Considering the in intricacy with this, and that's literally the only little hole that I got. Very impressed. And there's no holes whatsoever throughout this. Um, anyway, guys, that's me done for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful or helpful. Um, so just that, so just that one bit of advice I'll give you if you are doing this, just add about, I'll say about 20, maybe 10, yeah, maybe about 10 more, 10 more liquid to this. And if you are doing the bum mold, um, um, I would definitely suggest adding about 20 or 30 more liquid to that. And then obviously times in that extra by the two and a half. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I, I, um. Because I've been so busy, I haven't really had time to go online and things like that. And, um, you know, when I started this channel, I, I like I said, it, it was to help other people. But it was also a reference for myself if I ever need to come back to something. And I never even expected to get 10 or even 50 people following, um, you know, not in my wildest dreams. And when I went to um, bring my phone up and start doing this recording, I noticed that it's just gone over 400 so guys thank you so much um for subscribing um and if you are new to my channel um and you did find the video even a little bit helpful please give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos i do try and do one i'm not um, a weekly person i tend to try and do it like once a month um but i am dropping my hours at work so hopefully i can do a couple a month now but if you did find it helpful, um, please hit the subscribe button and join our little family. And other than that, guys, as always, I say take care of yourself, take care of your family. And if I don't see you before, have an absolutely amazing Christmas and an amazing New Year. And I'll see you guys all soon. Bye.